Hey guys, welcome back to Rich Coding, and today I'm going to talk to you about my top five reasons why I believe minorities shy away from careers in analytics. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so let's just jump right into it. I'm going to give you guys my top five reasons why I believe minorities shy away from careers in analytics, starting with number five. So number five on my list is under representation. I believe it is important for minorities and people of color to see individuals who look like them succeeding and thriving in the career path that they're interested in. Oftentimes, because in analytics the percentage of minorities is pretty low, there's not a lot of people who look like you or you could find who look like you succeeding in this area. And that can be very intimidating, guys. When I can't see anyone who has my background, my story, um, who looks like me, that I could actually talk to and get advice from, it can be very uh, challenging. Um, I remember starting out in my career path, and I would look around the room, and oftentimes I was the only African-American person in the room. Uh, definitely, I want to just put a disclaimer there. My teammates never made me feel any different. Um, I love those guys, love working with them. However, it was just in me. I would look around the room, and I definitely wouldn't see anyone who looks like me, and that was very intimidating for me, guys. It made me feel a little uncomfortable. Um, I knew I was going to be outside my comfort zone. And believe me, for a lot of people, being outside your comfort zone can be very tough. Uh, and it can uh, actually persuade you to shy away from uh, that career path because you don't see a lot of people look like you. Um, so I believe uh, seeing that representation definitely encourages you lets you know that you're able to do it as well, just uh, as they were. Uh, so it's very important. And a lot of times it's just not there. Um, that's really one of the reasons I created this YouTube channel to give uh, minorities someone who looks like them um, and encourage them that they could actually go down this path as well. Number four. Number four guys on my list is lack of support. Um, oftentimes in lower economic neighborhoods, Education isn't a priority, not with family members or friends. Um, so when you're pursuing a career in this uh, path, um, a lot of times the classes and everything are going to be very challenging. Even the career itself can be very challenging. So you need someone in your corner who can tell you you can do it, that you can succeed, that um, you're smart, you're intelligent, you belong. Um, that is very important. Um, I know that growing up there wasn't a lot of support system for education in my household and um, I just, just took it upon myself to uh, just succeed, uh, but it was a very rocky road. There were times that I gave up, didn't uh, decide to go back. And then I did meet someone who was my support system, made me believe that I could do it, work with me, uh, encouraged me. And that was important because once I built that confidence that I could actually do it, I actually succeeded. So I think having a strong foundation, a very strong support system can be important. Um, I would uh, encourage you to surround yourself with like-minded people like you that are considering going into areas like analytics so that you can have that strong support system because believe me, it can go a long way. But I believe when it's not there, it definitely causes a lot of minorities to shy away from analytics because it can be challenging. As I st stated before, it can be a little tough. Number three, guys. Number three on my list would be lack of awareness of that the positions actually exist. Uh, oftentimes, growing up, uh, even in high school, I remember you, you, you're not exposed to positions like data analyst or business intelligence analyst, data scientists, actuaries. Um, you just don't know they actually exist for you to prepare yourself to take a uh, take the road down to this path, this career path. So if you're not aware that they exist, how could you set yourself up for success? Um, you guys know my story from a previous video. I didn't learn about a lot of these positions until I was 30 years old, um, kind of late to the game. Uh, I went, oftentimes wonder, uh, had I pursued this degree earlier when I was much younger, where would I be today? Um, so having that awareness that the positions exist and preparing yourself for them could uh, oftentimes definitely cause a lot of my nerves to go into this field. But I believe that they're not there 
because they don't know that there are actually options. Um, I was talking to a friend earlier this week, and we, we were talking about the same subject. And she majored in math, and she said to herself, well, if I don't become an actuary, I mean an accountant, or an actuary, uh, I'm just going to become a teacher. So she didn't even consider all of the positions in between being a teacher or a accountant. And that's where the lack of knowledge of these positions uh, comes from, that she didn't know that there's actually career paths that she can go into that are not those two uh, to and, and I think that's important. Um, and that's, again, one of the reasons I created this YouTube channel, because I want to bring out awareness to minorities that these positions do exist, and you should take a very strong look at them. But I do think that is a very high reason why we don't see a lot of minorities in this field. Number two. Number two, guys, uh, is doubt. It is major. Doubt. Uh, when, as I stated with the other three, reasons when you don't know those other three or you get intimidated by those doubt seems to seep into you you doubt that you could be a good analyst you doubt that you're good in math you doubt that you're good in statistics doubt will definitely cause a lot of minorities to swear away from this career path uh, when, when you don't see anyone who looks like you you doubt that you measure up to your counterparts because you have different a bit different background from them you may have come from, like I said, lower economic, where they didn't. Um, so it can be very challenging for you to feel that you could succeed. And once that doubt seeps in and you don't have that support system, you're definitely going to decide to quit. You're going to decide to go away from this area and probably pursue something a lot easier or, or tell it around your skill set that you feel that, yes, I can succeed in this. So I believe that doubt comes in and minorities just, just look at the field and say, yeah, I don't think that's for me, and they shy away from it, which is, is unfortunate, because I believe that it is for minorities. I believe that we are smart enough to be in this field, and we can succeed. And the number one reason, guys, the number one reason I feel a lot of minorities shy away from careers here is fear. Fear is the number one reason, guys. They are, they are definitely afraid of math, afraid of science afraid of analytics, afraid of not succeeding, afraid of being that only person in the room to, to taking that stand and being bold and being the first person. Um, I remember when I first got into the role, uh, I was a little bit afraid myself. I, I had a lot of fear and doubt in my mind thinking, could I do this? Will I succeed in this? And every time I do something new, guys, I can tell you that I'm, I'm, I'm a, a little bit afraid, but I go after it anyway. Um, I, I look at it as a challenge that I need to overcome. Um, I want to be better. I want to be that person that definitely shows that minorities can be successful here and show other minorities up under me and other kids that you can pursue degrees here and you can make it. You, you can be just as smart as anyone in the room uh, if you work hard enough at it. But that fear can definitely cripple you and have you very afraid to pursue degrees in math, pursue degrees in analytics, pursue degrees uh, that will open up a wide range of career paths for you in analytics. Um, I can remember in high school, uh, a lot of my friends or myself would even say, hey, I'm not strong in math. Um, I, I don't like math. I don't like analytics. I don't like statistics. It wasn't that we didn't like it. We were actually afraid because we, were, we didn't either do well once or twice. Uh, that doubt and fear seeped into us. And we thought, hey, you know, this isn't for me. But that is not the case, guys. Um, you don't have to be the smartest in the room. You don't have to be the person that you feel you should be. You just have to work hard and want it, want it bad enough. If you want it bad enough, eventually you will become that person that you see yourself. You will be that person that people look up to and come to when they, when they have questions. So I, um, I, I gave my top five reasons, but I gave them to encourage you to not shy away from this career path because of those reasons. You have to throw away all of those reasons out of your mind and believe that, hey, I can succeed. And trust me, you see me, I'm doing it. And I want to encourage you that you can actually do it too. Um, guys, and, and going forward, guys, I really want to hear what your top five reasons are you believe minorities shy away from this position. Why do you think there's a small percentage of minorities uh, in analytics? I mean, some in some cases, there's less than 2%. 
Uh, why do you think it's the case? Comment down below. Let me know, guys, what you think. Um, and don't forget, guys, to like and subscribe for more content. Um, I'm actually want to bring more actuaries and data scientists to interview to uh, kind of expose you guys to these areas. So let me know what you think. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. And for everyone who has been viewing my videos, I just want to say a big thank you from the bottom of my heart. Definitely getting the word out, exposing people to these areas is important to me. And I thank you so much. And um, I will be seeing you guys soon. Peace. That was good. Yeah.